And as you just mentioned, there's a chance of rain this week for Arizona. Meteorologist Ginger Jeffries joins me now. And Ginger, you always hear about the percentage of rain. For instance, right here, you've got the graph up. Thursday, there's a chance 40 to 60 percent. But what exactly does that mean? So many people hear that 60 percent chance of rain. And so that's 40 percent chance that we're not going to get rain, right? Wrong. Oh. It's exactly the opposite. What it actually is talking about is the amount of area that will get rain. So in a meteorological sense, what we call it is a pop. It's the probability of precipitation, measurable precipitation within the forecast area. So if you think of the entire state or if we're just going to do a microclimate, let's say the Phoenix metro area, and Lindsay says, all right, well, we've got a 40% chance of rain. That means four out of the 10 times we had the exact same weather pattern that region and saw rain. Okay, so when you talk about measurable rain, for instance, you know, I'll see rain at my house, but then you'll say later, there was just trace amounts mm, of rain. That's so such, why the difference? It is such a great question because size matters when it comes to the Doppler radar. When the rain is coming out of the sky, the Doppler is measuring it. So if a raindrop is smaller than half a millimeter, it is immeasurable. We could get a bucket full of that kind of rain, but it's actually Virga. And the other thing is, did you know the raindrop doesn't look like a teardrop? Yeah. It looks more like a hamburger, hamburger bun. Oh. As it's falling, that wind is hitting the bottom. So uh, when next time you see rain, eh, think of the hamburger bun. All right, and now I'm hungry. <laughs> Ginger, thank you.